Hello, welcome back to the most disturbing films ever made. So today we get to talk about a film that's so near and dear to my heart. It was one of the first disturbing films that I ever saw and it really pushed me forward to continue watching these kind of movies and here we are today. So to get right into it, the film we're gonna be talking about is The Human Centipede 2, full sequence. <laughs> So I guess a little disclaimer on why I'm starting with the second film and not the first. This film is actually part of a trilogy and the second one in my mind is by far the worst graphic wise, gore wise in literally every single way. And it's honestly the most interesting because how the trilogy has kind of worked is when the first Human Centipede came out, there was huge buzz around it. Oh, it's going to be the most messed up movie ever made. Well, spoiler alert. it really wasn't. It was kind of a generic thriller that just had an interesting twist with the idea of a human centipede. Sure, there was like some graphic scenes in it most definitely, but it wasn't the worst thing possible. Now, in the second film, the director took all that criticism and turned it up to 11. I mean, this movie, comparatively to some other films I've covered, is even worse in my opinion. Like, this is a graphic film. Anything you can possibly imagine that's just awful in the universe, this film has it. So, with that being said, let's get started. The film introduces us to our protagonist, Martin, a toll booth worker and a very odd one at that. We see him sitting in his booth and he's actually watching the first Human Centipede movie. So in this universe, apparently this is a real movie that this guy is just absolutely obsessed with. Obsessed to the point where he decides he's gonna one-up the movie and try and make an even bigger Human Centipede. Next, we get to learn about Martin's wonderful home life. He lives with his extremely overbearing and emotionally abusive mother who who actually blames him for his father getting sent to prison. But the father was actually sent to prison for sexually and physically abusing Martin when he was younger. And just to wrap it all up in a nice little bundle, he also has a psychiatrist who sexually abuses him and feeds him heavy drugs constantly. So to set his plan in motion of creating a giant human centipede, he actually murders a warehouse owner and takes over the warehouse. That's where he's planning on storing the bodies at least. Martin then through his job slowly begins abducting people. His first two victims are a man, an extremely aggressive one at that, and his girlfriend that he kidnaps through the toll booth. Next, this guy, Alan, who's at an ATM complaining that there's no cash in it. Another man and a woman who we find out is pregnant, and they also have a toddler that he decides to just leave locked in their vehicle. This next one is just the absolute worst in my opinion. He kidnaps these two girls that actually catch him masturbating with sandpaper to a scene of human centipede. And <laughs> it's just so outlandish that I almost can't take it seriously if it wasn't so absolutely disgusting. In between these kidnappings, Martin actually goes home and finds that his mother has found his human centipede scrapbook and destroyed it. Martin, so upset with this, grabs his pet centipede, has it bite his mother on her face, and then he takes a crowbar and just crushes her skull in. It's a super graphic scene, but it's only getting worse from here. Martin then catches his psychiatrist and another man having sex with this prostitute. He murders his psychiatrist, which I really don't feel all that bad about, but then he kidnaps the other two and takes them to the warehouse. The last kidnapping victim is actually one of the actresses from The Human Centipede, where he lures her in by pretending to be Quentin Tarantino's casting agent before taking her back to the warehouse. Back at the warehouse, Martin now begins the assembly of the 12-person human centipede. He starts by severing all the ligaments in their knees so they can't run away. Now his first attempt at attaching everyone together actually leads to one of the guys dying because, you know, he's not a trained surgeon, he has no idea what he's actually doing. So he does it the Martin way where he takes duct tape and a staple gun and just one by one starts attaching their face to ass and it... Gosh, it's just the absolute worst. So also during the assembly, he presumes one of the girls is actually dead, so he puts her off in the corner and is ended up with a 10-person human centipede. After putting them all together, the actress from the original Human Centipede movie is just screaming her heart out. 
Martin, upset by this, comes up to her with a pair of pliers and just rips her whole tongue out. It's awful. He then injects everyone with laxatives because of course he would and makes them all just shit in each other's mouths. It is just the grossest thing I have ever seen in my whole life. And Martin agrees because after he's done laughing, he immediately throws up, which is how I felt watching most of this film. Now we get into really, really messed up territory. I know we haven't gotten there yet. Martin takes some barbed wire and wraps it around his genitals. He then heads to the back of the centipede and the woman in the very back. It's, it just gets so disgusting from here that I really can't even handle it. The woman who was presumed dead, who was actually the pregnant woman, actually makes it out and into a car. And as she's making her escape, we find out that she is in labor. The baby comes out and falls at her feet. And as she's trying to escape, she just crushes this baby's head. And that scene in particular is the one that I remember vividly. Oh, gosh, it's just so messed up and it's in black and white. So it kind of like hides the gory fake details. You know, it looks so gross and real that it's just burned into my brain. Now, again, because Martin has just MacGyvered these 10 people together with duct tape and staples, they actually managed to split apart from each other and form two five-person human centipedes. Martin is just absolutely furious at this, obviously, so he just takes a gun and starts executing them one by one. After he runs out of ammo, though, he takes out a knife and just starts slitting the remaining people's throats. He finally gets to the front where Ashlyn is, and he kneels down and kind of has this moment where I think it's like, oh, maybe he's going to let her go after this horrible, horrible tragedy. But before he can really even contemplate letting her go or anything, she punches him straight in the nuts. As he's just rolling in pain, she finds a funnel and his pet centipede, puts the funnel in his ass, and puts the centipede down, and I just... At this point, I can't even handle this movie. <laughs> He turns around and stabs Ashlyn in the neck before leaving the warehouse, but we see a little, maybe, glimmer of hope because she's still moving on the floor a little bit. The final scene is pretty much how this film opened. It's Martin sitting in his toll booth watching the human centipede. However, in the background, you can still hear the toddler that he left in that car earlier screaming, and it's kind of a really terrifying note to leave on, honestly. Again, I don't really know if it's because this was one of the first disturbing films I ever watched, but it really stuck in my memory. Lots of these scenes are so graphic and so, I guess, memorable that I haven't forgotten about them in years. So yeah, that's The Human Centipede 2. It's arguably one of the most disturbing films ever made. I don't care what anyone has to say about that. It is just so graphic and really goes there in pretty much every single way. Uh, I don't know, if you're looking for something next level, this is probably the one you should look at first. Anyways, thanks for joining me again. I love making these videos. It's one of my dreams to continue doing this, so I'm gonna do it as long as I possibly can. I just put a short film out on my channel. I don't know if you've seen it or not, but I'll link it down below. It was just a little fun weekend project that me and my girlfriend Emily put together, so I'd love to know what you guys think of that. I'd also love to know what you guys think of this review. Any other suggestions for movies, always just leave them down in the comments section. I'm compiling a little list so I have future videos to make. But yeah, thank you again. And this has been the most disturbing films ever made.